John, where does this idea of Lito come from? Hi, Judith. Thank you for asking me this question. You know, the printmaking history for creating editions with artists has not evolved for the last years. You know, it began with Gutenberg Press until like Alois Seffenalder who created the lithography process and Warhol who was a great ambassador of the silk screen process. And from Warhol and the silk screen process, we didn't see any new tool or any new print making uh, practice process. Mm -hmm. So we created Lito uh, by buying a technology and investing in it. And it's allow our company and our lab to give new tools to contemporary artists to create new work that we can then create and produce edition, sign and number by them. And so what, what are the specificity of this new proposal? Thank you for asking. So the specificity of our product uh, now in, in our prints, it's not flat and to do it's in 3D with the texture, the relief and the brush stroke. Uh, and we also have a lab and we work on new materials like Aludi Bond, like uh, a lot of all the new innovative material and it's all artists to create a new dimensionality work where we can have like uh, texture, brush stroke and relief. For example, Peter Halle asked us to use his very famous Rolatex techniques. He created a Rolatex for us and we created a clone of it. You will see it's, it's on nine parts and after he created the volume. And the side of the work is also on a, on a uh, it's look like concrete. So it's, it's a absolutely new for the market and for the artist. So you have a double speed. On one, on one way, you are very institutional oriented, like your collaboration with the uh, Musée d'Orsay for Van Gogh exhibition. And on the other side, you try to be very creative, creating real work of art, where on the other proposal, it's about copying, right? Correct. Our first offer and our first knowledge and skills is our little lab for contemporary artists. And because we have a full integrated knowledge of it, museums like Orsay Museum was interested to partner with us to create reproduction from their masterpieces that you can buy in their shop or via their website and our website, etc. etc. But our first knowledge, it's we developed a lab for the artist to create new work. So you could become kind of MA Mag uh, new business, right? Future will say. <laughs> oh, Gutenberg. <laughs> Are you the new Gutenberg? Alors, what I can say is our technology is fully worldwide patent from last June. So we are very proud about this. Mm -hmm. So let's see if, if our process technology, patent technology become become successful because it's reached a new audience. You know, it's allow artists to engage back with their community. Lot of artists become very quickly expensive, you know, by the market, by the gallery, by the collectors. But the true fan and community of the artist, you know, cannot very often afford the original. And now they can buy an edition who feel like an original. Okay, merci beaucoup. Thank you, Judith, merci.